This video is an explanation of one of our daily enrichment problems. And this problem asks you how many of what shapes can you see in this figure? Now the most obvious uh, shape that I hope you will see is triangles. But there are several different sizes of triangles and the first one that jumps out at me is the largest triangle right here. And that largest triangle is made out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 smaller triangles. So I'm going to say that this is called a 16 triangle. And there are one of them. The reason I'm calling that a 16 triangle is just to help label what shape I'm referring to. I do see a slightly smaller triangle right here that is made out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine triangles. And a matter of fact, I can see another one of those triangles right here. And there is also one more right up here at the top. So a total of nine triangles are three. There are then there some, are smaller, then triangles. This some one right smaller triangles. This one right here that is made out of one, two, three, four littler triangles. So I see one of those right there. I see one right here. I see one right here. And then if I go up a little bit, I see an upside down, if you want to call it that, one right here. I see another one right here. Another one right here. And then another one right up here at the top. Let me quickly trace those out to make them a little bit easier to see. One two, three, this one right here, four, five, six, and then this last one right here, seven. So these are going to be called four triangles, and there's seven of them. And then of course we know that there is a one triangle and we already counted that there are 16 of them. So all together, we have 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 16. That gives us 27 triangles. The next type of shape that jumps out to me is the rhombus. And a rhombus is a four-sided figure that has four congruent sides. So the smallest rhombus is that I can see are these ones right here. And obviously there are a whole bunch of those. So I'm going to go ahead and count the, the smallest ones first. And I'm going to highlight this in a couple different colors to help you see them. So one, two, three. I'm going to do all the ones this direction first. Four, five, six. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a different color and switch directions. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 11, 12. I'm gonna to switch to, to a different color and switch directions again. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then one more, 18. So I'm going to call these two rhombuses, and there are 18 of them. There are some larger rhombuses, and I can trace around them here. Here is a, an example of a larger rhombus, and this rhombus has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles in it. So there's one of them. If we look this direction, here's another one of them. And then we have, just like with the other ones, we have one that's also vertical. So all together, of the eight rhombuses, we have three of them. Another shape that I see is a parallelogram. And a parallelogram is a four-sided figure with opposite sides that are parallel 
and congruent. Now this might get a little messy, so I'm going to do it in parts. So here is parallelogram number one. Here is number two. And then directly above this, number three. So in that direction, we have three parallelograms. I'm now going to erase this. And now I'm going to do it the a different direction. So now we're going to go this direction. We have one. two, three, so three parallelograms in that direction. Now let's look in another direction. We have one, two, three, four, five, Six. And we'll do exactly the same thing in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those are our, what we call our four parallelograms. And there are three plus three plus six plus six, which would be 18 of them. We do have larger parallelograms, for example, right here. So there's one right there and one right here. And then also one right here here. There are also ones going the opposite directions. So of the six parallelograms, we have a total of six of them. The next shape that I see is a trapezoid. And a trapezoid is a four-sided figure with one pair of parallel sides. I'm going to start out with the largest trapezoid that I see right here, which is going to be a 15 trapezoid. And of course, I can rotate the triangle and do the same thing. And then rotate the triangle again and do exactly the same thing. So there are three of the 15 trapezoids. The next largest trapezoid I see is this size. And there's one there. I can rotate the triangle. One there, two. And then I can rotate the triangle. And there is one right here. So three. That trapezoid has 12 small triangles in it. So I'm going to call it a, a 12 trapezoid. There were three of them. Another size of trapezoid I see is right here. And this size of trapezoid has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles in it. So there's one right there, another one right there. So there's two. If we go straight up in the middle, there's three. And then we'll be able to do exactly the same thing by turning it on its side. So there should be three times three, which will give us nine of those eight trapezoids. The small trapezoid that has only three triangles in it, there's one, two, three, going up, four, five, in the middle, six, now upside down, if you want to call it that, seven, eight, nine, sideways, 10, 11, 12, and then the other direction, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then one more direction, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So of the three trapezoids, we have 24. All together with the trapezoids, we have 3 plus 3 plus 9 plus 24, which is 39. I also see hexagons, which are six-sided figures. I see one wide hexagon right here. And then, of course, I can turn the triangle on its side and see a second one. And then turn it on its side and see a third one. So I'm just going to call that a wide hexagon. And that wide hexagon has nine, I'm going to call it a wide, wide nine hexagon, because it has nine triangles in it. There are three of those. I see some regular hexagons right here. One two, three, and there's only going to be three of those because no matter what, you, when you turn a regular polygon on its side, it's going to be congruent. So I'm going to call that a regular six hexagon with six triangles. There were three of them. And at this point, this is where I'm going to stop this video because at this point you could actually go quite crazy with this and you could say, well, there's more hexagons than that. Because a hexagon is just a six-sided figure. So there's two sides, three sides, four sides, five sides, six sides. This is a hexagon because it has six sides. However, it is an irregular concave hexagon. Now, a lot of the other figures that I've drawn on here, uh, for example, all the trapezoids are irregular polygons, but they are not concave polygons. And even both of the hexagons, the wide hexagon, and then of course the regular hexagon, were convex hexagons, meaning that they were not caved in on one side like this one is. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right here because I've shown all of the different shapes, the triangles, rhombuses, parallel against hexagon, trapezoids, all of the different um, shapes that we can make that are convex shapes. Of course, you can make irregular concave shapes, a lot more of those from this original triangle. So it's entirely possible that I missed something and I counted wrong on here. Please post in the comments if you catch any mistakes that I made or if you see any other shapes that I just uh, totally overlooked when I made this video.